if you guys remember, the, what they're basically asking you guys to do is use the remainder theorem. And if you guys remember, this is your 0. And what they're asking is, is basically use the remainder theorem to find the remainder. So there's two different ways you could do this. By using synthetic division, you could figure out what the remainder is, right? Correct? And whatever that number is at the end, that's your remainder. But they're not asking you to do synthetic division. They're asking you to use the remainder theorem. And what the remainder theorem basically says is the remainder from synthetic division is the exact same as if you were to evaluate your function for your 0. So instead of doing p of x, now what we're going to do is p of a, which is negative 5. So now what I'm going to do is replace all of my x's with a negative 5. Okay, So negative 5 is negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, which is negative 125. Remember, anytime you have a negative number raised to an odd power, it will always be negative. A negative number raised to an even power, though, is going to be positive. So negative 5 squared is 25. 25 times 7 is going to be 175? 175. Negative, or 12 times negative 5 is going to be negative 60 minus 3. Right? So if I combine these two, that would give me negative 185. Negative 185 plus 175 would give me negative 10. Negative 10 minus 3 would give me negative 13. So that is the remainder. Now, what did I say? We could always check our answer by using synthetic division, like I wrote up before. So let's just do that. You didn't have to do this, but I just want to show you how to check your an how to wh how remember what this was from last class period. So if I was going to use synthetic division, remember you bring down the first term, multiply on the diagonals, add on the vertical. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. 7 plus negative 5 is positive 2. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 12 plus negative 10 is positive 2. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative 3 plus negative 10 is negative 13. Do you guys see? So all they're asking you to do is find a remainder by using the remainder theorem. And all you need to do is take your 0, plug it into your function, and you will get what the remainder is without having to do synthetic division. Well, remember, remember, if this is your divisor, that is what we call your factor. right? A factor is a number that evenly divides in something. Like 6 is a factor of 12, because 6 divides into 5. right? So x plus 5 is the factor. Does x plus 5 divide into this polynomial? Well, what we need to do to determine that is find the 0. So how do you go from factors to zeros? What do you do? You set your factors equal to 0. zero. So I do x plus 5 equals 0, minus 5, minus 5 x equals negative 5. That is your 0. What do you do with your 0? Well, you have to use your 0 for synthetic division. And to use the remainder theorem, that's what you plug in to your function to determine the remainder. Okay? So this problem, you, didn't get, you weren't given the factor, but um, that's what you would do for that. Okay? Uh, 